In the world of bikes, and more specifically, world tour proven road race bikes, the world's cheapest and fastest are rarely heard in the same sentence. But the bike brand that I have underneath me might be about to change things forever. I am, of course, talking about Van Riesel. Cast your minds back to the end of 2023 and French pro team AG2R made a splash in the cycling press when they announced they would be partnering with Decathlon for 2024. At the same time, they also announced they would be riding Decathlon's premium cycling brand, Van Riesel. Now, this had some people scratching their heads as surely a more budget orientated retailer like Decathlon wouldn't be able to match the likes of Pinarello and Colnago when it came to out and out performance in the World Tour. Well, if the 2024 road season is anything to go by, then it looks like Van Riesel and Decathlon have done just that. At the time of filming, the AG2R team have piloted their flagship Van Riesel RCRs to 26 victories at the highest level. But perhaps the most striking thing is that you can go into a shop and buy the exact same bike as the pros use for just £9,000. Of course, £9,000 is far from cheap, but when you consider that Colnago and Pinarello's World Tour race bikes cost well north of £10,000, the RCR starts to look far more competitive on price. And cyclists bought into the hype with the first batch of top spec Van Riesel RCRs selling out within minutes when they went on sale in the UK. So it seems like competitive pricing and high-end performance can be offered at the same time. But what could this mean for the entire bike industry? Well, you'll have to watch to the end of the video to find out. Before that, I'm going to tell you a little more about Van Riesel and why they are causing such a stir. At this stage, you may be wondering what Van Riesel is and where did they originate from? Well, Van Riesel, which incidentally translates to Made in Flanders, originated in 2019 and is Decathlon's premium bike brand. And while Van Riesel has only been in the World Tour since 2024, Decathlon has a strong history of making bikes for professional teams such as Cofidis and AG2R Provoyance in the early 2000s. It's worth mentioning that Van Riesel's aren't just rebranded from other Decathlon models. They're a whole new line with a dedicated team of engineers striving to make the best performance road bikes possible. The marketing speak is all well and good, but why should you be excited about Van Riesel bikes? For me, I think there are four reasons. Number one, it's just great to see a relatively new brand on the scene that isn't afraid to shake things up and put their money where their mouth is. Sponsoring a World Tour team is not cheap and it's a huge risk for any new brand. So to see Decathlon AG2R teams doing so well aboard Van Riesel bikes, well, can only put a smile on your face. Number two, and you're going to be hearing this a lot throughout this video, it's got to be the price. As we all know by now, bikes are seriously expensive in this day and age, and that isn't going to change anytime soon. The fact that Van Riesel are trying to offer something at a more competitive price can only be a good thing. Number three, they're in it for the long haul. Decathlon and Van Riesel have committed to a five-year partnership with AG2R, so I'm pretty sure this won't be a flash-in-the-pan thing. Brands making long-term commitments is great for the likes of you and me, as the tech that the pros get eventually trickles down to the bikes we get to buy in the shops. And number four, it's teamed up with some very interesting partners, including the likes of Swissside, Data Elementi, and French Aerospace Research Laboratory, Onira. Now, Onira is based round the corner from Van Riesel's headquarters in Lille, so I can imagine having such an amazing facility nearby will mean Van Riesel are in the best position possible to make good on their claim of making the fastest and cheapest bikes possible. In terms of who I think should consider buying a Van Riesel bike, well, in this video, I'm riding the mid-range Van Riesel RCR, which features SRAM's Force Axis group set equipped with a power meter. This is exactly the same frame shape and geometry as raced by the pros, albeit with a marginally heavier carbon layup. And we're only talking about a 40 gram difference, which is barely noticeable. Van Riesel says the RCR is in their lightweight aero category of bikes, coming in at 5,000 pounds here in the UK. 
With this in mind, I think a bike like this would be ideal for the amateur racer, keen sportive rider, or just someone who likes to go fast and doesn't want to break the bank. It also features zip, wheels, and some pretty tasty Michelin Power Cup tires, so wouldn't need any upgrades to begin with. There are different models if you're looking to spend less than five grand, and as I've already mentioned, there's the all singing, all dancing pro replica model if you'd want to spend a little bit more. All this to say, if you're looking for a performance focused bike that's ready to ride or race straight out of the shop, then Van Riesel should have something to suit your budget. At this stage, you may be wondering, how do I actually go out and buy Van Riesel products? As you'd expect, you can go over to the Decathlon website and find the bike I'm riding today along with other products from the Van Riesel range. It's available in a range of sizes and you can then arrange for it to be delivered to your closest Decathlon store where you can go and pick it up. Or if you're after a more bespoke retail experience, then you can head over to Van Riesel's own concept store in London where you can access services like bike fits and hands-on experience with their full product range. Finally, let's get on to what Van Riesel's presence in the market means for the cycling industry and you, the viewers. As we're at such an early stage in the brand's development, I can only speculate for now. And things may change, but here are my takeaways. Number one, the fact that we have a world tour team racing and winning on what are perceived to be more affordable bikes can only be a good thing. We're often sold the idea that the most expensive product is the best. So it's refreshing to know that you can buy the same performance at a more competitive price. At the time of filming, AG2R Decathlon were ranked sixth out of 21 World Tour teams. So I'd wager any concerns the riders had about racing bikes from Decathlon have long disappeared. Number two, in the future, we may see more brands leading with the affordability of their top spec road bikes rather than their performance. Van Riesel created quite the buzz when they released the world's cheapest world tour bike. And I'm sure that's one of the main reasons they sold out so quickly rather than any performance claims. And number three, if Van Riesel continues to build on their success of selling high performance bikes at more affordable prices, will we see more premium brands having to reduce their prices to keep up? Again, it's just speculation for now, but my instinct says probably not. Our buying decisions are based on far more than just price, with marketing, brand history, region, and after sale support, and a whole host of other factors coming into play. In short, I don't think we can expect a sub 10 grand top spec Pinarello or Carl Nargo anytime in the near future. But hey, it's amazing to think that with Van Riesel, we can now buy a World Tour winning race bike for well under £10,000. And in terms of change within cycling, I think that's one that we can all get behind. Mm -hmm.